Welcome to the Healer Within Community Practice Group, downtown Bethel, Connecticut. I'm Audra Mace, your Tai Chi Easy Practice Leader from Lady Shaka Holistic Healing. I just recorded a video for you to replay because I missed July, and I'm really sorry that that happened. Uh, we are together once a month, and um, I want to be sure to maintain that pace for those of you who are looking for uh, more active practice with Healer Within Practices. Go to healerwithin.org, and they're running a practice several times a week with different practice leaders from all over the country. Uh, it's part of our COVID-19 um, response. So I think it's a wonderful thing. And if you enjoy this practice, you may as well see how other people are doing it. The Healer Within, written by Dr. Roger Yanka, my teacher. He's a great guy, and this is a great read. I keep reading it uh, time and time again. I find I pick this up, whether I'm waiting in, you know, um, for an appointment, I bring it in with me into the waiting room, or just leave it on my coffee table, and I'm always finding more interesting things in this book. So I'm just going to suggest that you yourself declare your independence. Declare your independence, meaning practice self-care skills. Be less dependent on doctors. Be less dependent on all sorts of other practitioners um, for your health because there isn't anybody who knows your body better than you. So you're the first line of defense. That's the message. Now it's time to get started. Ordinarily, I would have been teaching in Newtown tonight at the community center. However, they canceled uh, because a lot of roads are blocked off and they're opening the facility for people who need showers because there's a lot of power out. So I'm going to spritz some sage mist, which I haven't done in a while. And why am I doing that? It's to clear the energy in the room. Sometimes I do that before practice. Sometimes I also clear the energy with the chime. It's a way to signal your practice, almost like a commencement of sorts. And then, of course, if I don't chime people out, they're just in this state of bliss until the next time they hear a bell. If we're going to begin our practice as we ordinarily do with some gentle movements, integrating our breath and our intention. Taking your hands, interlacing your fingers, cracking your knuckles like me, reaching up and elongating. Now stretching your fingers wide, opening your heart space. Continuing the motion, arriving with your fingertips pointed at the floor. This time, focus on your breath. Reaching up, breathing in, full breath. Exhale, completely. Most people stop breathing here. Continue, push, push, push the air out, pushing the belly button, sucking it back. Now go up on your toes. Continuing the breath, reaching upward and outward. In the healer within book, that you need to practice. Integrating now the movement with the breath and the intention, reaching up, aligning, holding up the heavens, exhaling, coming down onto your heels. Rounding the motion, pointing your fingertips to the floor, integrating now. The breath with the motion and the intention to self-heal. What are we healing? <laughs> well, you know what that is.
to be physical, to be emotional, to be spiritual healing, supporting the heavens, breathing in, reaching upward and outward. See my fingertips? They're super wide, stretched all out. I'm scratching on two walls on either side of me. Breathing in, reaching up. Imagining you are the sun, illuminating all the dark places in the world. I'm going to go for broke here. Close my eyes. Breathe in. And up on my toes. There you go. Up and down. Up and down. You can do it. And being that sun. When you imagine some imagery, you forget the other stuff's going on. When I say be the sun and extend your rays, you tend to slow your roll. Exhale. Waking up all the creatures of the earth. Say, hey, you're the sun. You're waking up some Martian somewhere. <laughs> Breathing in, reaching upward and outward last time. We've just activated lymph propulsion. What's that? That's the healer within. Simple and easy. Shake the hands out. Spontaneous qigong. Engaging the legs. Wiggling the hips. Shaking the feet if you want. You can't can <laughs> Do they have can can sales anymore? No, all the fans are sold. All the hands are sold. Spontaneous Qigong. We're wiping energy that we just eradicated, used and abused, walling it up, sending it to the recycle bin in the sky. Spontaneous Qigong. I've been doing that with some music that's mainstream. Um, and folks are really digging it. So I encourage you at home, even in the car, find a song you like, figure out where it's making you pump. You know, is it pumping your chest out? Is it making you bang your head, head, head bobbing or tapping your toe? Those are different frequencies and we have energetic, um, uh, Vortexes spinning all around, which create layers of consciousness, and we react to these things uh, when we're stimulated. So pay attention to the music and where in your body uh, it stimulates, and you'll be surprised you know, how much fun you can have just spontaneously moving. And when you spontaneously move, you'll be getting trapped energy to circulate and then it'll circulate and create a waste product and then the cellular debris needs to find a way out so you exhale really deep or you go to a steam bath or you have an ionic detox food bath many different ways to release these toxins so for now we're going to continue with some Tai Chi easy practices, taking our palms, reaching up, elongating. At this point, your crown is reaching for heaven. The base of you, your tailbone, is directed toward the earth. Your palms are collecting energy from all living things, and you're gathering Pushing it down, the energy that is chi, pushing it down into the crown of your head, letting it move down through and around you. 
arriving here in Oregon. This is called marrow washing. Taking your palms. Breathing in now, elongating. Exhaling. Like you're dumping a bucket of honey over your head. This time, open your eyes and imagining gathering the resources, pushing down into the crown of your head, allowing a blanket of peace and healing white light. You. Eradicating all disease and discomfort, offering support emotionally and spiritually. And more in the hands. So, in the last session, we did uh, beating the heavenly drum. So, now we're going to. Uh, Bring the temple gong. Bring the temple gong, we're done. So take your hands and like you would put a gong, you'll be swinging at the waist, tapping your organs. So the organs are in the front here and in the back here. So we have our liver and our kidneys in the back. And then we swing around, hitting the kidneys on the other side, tapping the other organs in the front, the spleen and the pancreas. In a rhythm of sorts, swinging down, bending at the knees, lifting up, tapping the belly and the back. Now, you don't want to tap the front belly part, alternate with the lungs. So we're tapping the kidney every time and the lung. So if you have a history of smoking, this might be good. What you'll be doing is shaking the organ by tapping it. Allowing the cellular to breathe and begin draining into the lymphatic system. So the spleen, liver, and pancreas, the spleen, pancreas, and liver. SPL, that's how I remember it. That's the order. I'm giving out my secrets. We have a drum and a rhythmic. I'm sorry, ringing the temple gong. <laughs> In a rhythmic way, having the organs. You can speed it up if you want. Just find a rhythm that works for you. And know with intention what you're doing inside. There's plenty of fluid after this session. Because we're tapping organs that are filters. And we're releasing the clogs. That's my very scientific explanation. <laughs> this is Tai Chi easy, yeah. Keep it easy. 
the syllables short. Okay. Do a little cheap, Tai Chi easy uh, five forms. Chin will rise and fall the hands, the ceremonial way to begin the sequence practice. This is uh, a little more advanced for some folks who are just here to move their arms and legs around. Now we're going to get into the cheesy part of the practice where we're trying to assemble within our palms and the energy that we can feel. So I want you to take a breath in and on the exhale, Draw your palms together, and when you feel a certain density between them, like an energetic sphere is formed, then you will have felt the chi. Take a breath in. Exhale, drawing your palms together again. You may feel a certain tingling or magnetic pull in your palms. Breathing in, exhaling again. Letting all the air out. Some people don't feel it until they've lost every drop of air. Breathing in big, exhaling, cultivating this energy. Um, continuing with this motion, closing your eyes. It's not the motion we're after, it's the sensation. Breathe in, exhale, and feel the chi. Some folks may feel an energetic sphere the size of marble. Some may feel a beach ball sized energy that's hard to contain. Continue breathing in and out, focusing on your energy that you're collecting. Between your palms also known as the Palace of Reward. I want you to breathe in this time and draw energy down from heaven to the point of celestial convergence. Breathing in, sucking down that yang energy, exhaling now. Collapsing down on this energetic ball. Feeling the chi develop. Now playing with it in an exercise called mind boxing. You're just moving it around. Playing with this energy. Into your mind. You can use to dismiss any sounds that randomly appear other than my voice, of course, <laughs> because I don't really know what to do. Breathing in, exhaling, collapsing on this energy now. For those of you more advanced, we've been doing this a while. Take the energy, spin it around, flip it over. Maybe even let it ooze through your fingertips and collect it on the other side. Holding this energy between your palms, drawing it over to the side. The bottom hand should feel like you're ready to throw a frisbee. Those of you who know me and play frisbee with me or other things that I've thrown, 
uh, most of my frisbees end up behind me somehow. But anyway, cast your lower arm like you're throwing a frisbee, holding the top hand steady and in place. Twist at your waist to move the arm. So we're not moving our arm, we're moving our waist. Harmonizing yin and yang. We're going to stay here and do this just a few times. Bring the energy back together and then separating it by twisting at the waist. Taking your breath in as you collect the energy. Exhaling, twisting at the waist, casting the energy away. Inhaling and drawing it back. Now I want you to just take your hands together, this ball of energy moving to the other side of your body by just twisting at the waist. There's a lot of waist work here. Flipping it over. Taking your breath in. And throwing that frisbee out again by twisting at the waist, your arm will move. Holding your top hand constant. And in place. This is the easiest way for me to teach and lead the five forms. Feeling the sensation of the energy, continue to regroup. Pulling in and separate. Breathing out. Okay, collecting the energy again, taking your breath in. Exhaling, moving it to the other side of your body. Flipping it over, one continuous motion frisbee by twisting at the waist. What we're doing is waist work here. Regroup the energy, take a breath in, exhale, move this ball across your body again, flip it over. Once we flip it, one continuous motion, holding the top hand steady, moving at the waist, drawing that Theoretical Now that you have this motion down, concentrate on fluidity. Breathing in, flipping it over, exhaling, separating. Inhaling. Exhaling across. Inhaling as you flip this energy ball over, one continuous motion, twisting at the waist, casting it through the frisbee out. Harmonizing yin and yang, yang being limitless, boundless source of energy. Coming from heaven, yin, orange is shin, helps you remember that it comes from the earth. So now that we're harmonizing yin and yang, between our palms here, traditionally called parting the wild horse's mane. We're ready to move on to our next motion.
Roshini Senshi. So I want you to breathe in, inhale, exhale now, taking your energy ball, moving it over to the other side, flipping it once, and flipping it again. This time the top hand is going to sweep if it's going to brush your knee. And the other hand is going to grow or cast the energy on the palm, almost like you're being pie in the face. <laughs> Taking the energy again, collecting it here. The hand that was out doing the pie in the face is now on the top. The lower hand. Is going to be the hand that sends the chi. So brush me. Now we're sending the chi. Doing a super slow. Boom. Like your palm healing in the face. Our chi. The hand that was out becomes the top hand. The bottom hand now becomes. Chi lower. Brush the knee. Send the chi. Brush knee, send chi. Where do we breathe for all those of you who stop breathing? So, top hand, the hand that's out becomes a top hand. Inhale here. Almost like you're blocking your groin. That's exactly what you're doing from a martial arts perspective. Brushing the knee, sending the chi. And there's a nice one. Hi. <laughs> Breathing in here, exhaling on impact. Always work. Draw the arms, one motion, brush the knee, rotate the hips, send the chi. So breathe in, set your arms, exhale. Just with the waist. I want you now to take notice with your knees being bent. The twisting and the power that you feel entering the hand that you're casting forward with the chi in it. Breathe in. Exhale. We're drawing power from the ground up through our feet, rippling through our hips through our core, exiting palm. This leverage plus the ground, grounding effect and the leverage, I'll call the equalizer. Where the equalizer Martial arts equalizes out the small from the tall. And one last time. Now we're doing this repetitively, breaking it down into these steps. Super slow. Taking a little break here. Form of an X in front of you. Pushing the blade of your hand forward. She is here. Breathing in. 
pushing that blade. Now the power again from the ground, rippling up with the twisting in the body in this cutting motion, cutting the path to clarity on the traditional form. Keep telling the monkey. Can't say monkey and not smile. For those of you at home, I can imagine that now you're <laughs> making all sorts of monkey noises. Cut his fun. Breathing in, exhaling here on impact. Breathing in full, drawing the power from the ground. Yin sources rippling in the twist, coming out the blade of your palm. Cutting the path to clarity. It's a mental exercise. Exhale. The power is in this twist. And for now, just taking your hands one on the X. Allowing one hand to sweep down in front of your drawing space, come up, stare to palm. This forms a cloud. We're moving into watching clouds path at cloud hand. The other cloud we're going to form down here by our drawing space. Twisting at the waist, cross your personal sky. This is how your arms move. Changing the yin yang energy, breathing in here, exhaling, leading with the wrist and leading with the palm, the lower hand. Changing the energy again, breathing in, forming your two clouds, choosing to either look at them or gaze off in the distance. Watching clouds pass is about conserving energy, conserving the chi. Remember, chi being that resource, essential in all living things. Conserving chi is important. Collecting your air, breathing in deep, resetting your clouds, twisting at the waist, adding a little more elegance and grace in your motion, perhaps adding some bend in the knees, more fluidity. When you change, people in class love this. I put candles in front of them and it's dark, and they'll just get lost in bliss, forgetting that they're breathing and moving. And they find themselves somewhere else. Or they find themselves having complete clarity of mind. Which is one of the goals of meditation.
Breathing in on the change and setting your hands, twisting at the waist. Exhaling as your clouds move across your personal sky. You can really go deeper in the practice when you close your eyes. Then one last time. We're not working on any particular number or count. We're just doing some repetitions. Gathering from heaven and earth. Gathering from earth first. Reaching down in a squat-like manner, drawing in the resources that is yin. Remember, rhymes with chin, reaching up. Oh, someone's behind me. Oh, my shadow. Drawing, healing resources from above. Mixing them in you, the heart mind. Reaching into the darkness that is yin. Reaching up to the light that is yang. Feeling the dampness. The water that is in air. Breathing in, reaching lower middle on the exhale, perhaps touching the ground, reaching up, elongating. In here, exhaling on your descent, feeling the pull of gravity, feeling the strength in your legs as you rise, reaching up, feeling the angels, feeling the levity, and the boundless love, pulling it down into your heart space. Holding here for just a moment as the elixir of sorts mixes within you. Notice I kept referring to opposites. Yin Choosing a balance. Choosing an us. It's our chi symbol. Without harmony. Balance. Black being green and white being yawn, speck of each within each. <laughs> Holding our hand on our heart, being grateful for all the things that we have. Taking a breath in, exhaling, being grateful for all the things we don't have. Aha, that's the opposites. And a sigh of relief, breathing in. A vocal exhale. <sighs> breathing in. Releasing all the air. 
<sighs> Taking this intention as we hold our hearts, thinking about someone else. If you don't work out for you, work out for someone else. Is there someone else who needs you healthy? Is there someone else who wants you healthy? Then do it for them. Take a breath in and exhale. Sending your healing resource to so someone you love. And again, breathing in. Trying to capture and muster up as much healing energy as you can. In this next breath, sending it to someone who really, really needs it. With your fullest intention. Emptying every last drop out, sending it to them. On this next breath in, taking a deep breath in, sending healing to your community, all the people in it, all the animals and creatures. And exhale. While we're at it, send some breath to the universe. Taking a breath in. And in this full exhale breath toward the universe to help send healing resources to a group, a culture. Even if it's pets in a kennel. Something greater than you. And lower your hands. Shaking them out. Intention. That's what we were doing. Setting intentions. Working it out. With the universe. We'll do one more intention setting exercise. It's called clearing your small universe. I like to say that I live in a bubble and been happy living here for a long time. Longer than I want to admit. <laughs> but anyway, in this small universe, sometimes it gets a little claustrophobic. So the intention is to clear clutter, emotional baggage, really. So I'm sure you carry a little emotional baggage yourself be happy to participate in the practice but what is it it's just for deep inhales and for forceful exhales if you carry a lot of baggage and they're pointing in different directions so we'll work on those four different directions as we do our remember we did the warrior's breath in one of these videos, taking our breath in, exhaling and pushing out on either side of you in your small universe, making that bubble a little bigger, breathing in, pushing up, exhaling. In pushing forward. Big breath in, pushing out in front of you. All the air out. Drawing your air in and pushing 
down on the exhale. While I offer a narrative, I want you to imagine your own, what they may symbolize. Taking your breath in. Pushing out between a rock and a hard place. Breathing in, pushing up, as though you're lifting the weight of the world off your shoulders. Breathing in, pushing forward. So you're establishing boundaries. Clearing the cap full. Breathing in, pushing down, stemming the rising tide, or lifting yourself out of an oppressive situation. Exhaling completely. One last time, making it your own. In the cluttered, expanding your bubble, pushing up, breathing in, pushing forward, breathing in, pushing down. Imagining now that this bubble is clear, your small universe is clearing. You have more space. What do you want to invite into this new space? Now that you've cleared some emotional baggage. Now it's time to align with the larger universe your smaller universe by setting intentions that during the course of the week may reveal themselves in subtle ways. So spend a moment right here, right now, and set those intentions. Yes, right here, right now. No to-do listy that we don't get to. I feel like <laughs> Imagining this sphere, this bubble that you just made spacious. Take a breath in. Exhale, expand it. Now that you've expanded it, on the next inhale, invite in something that you're interested in. And exhale. Well, that was fun. It's more fun you've had in Wednesday night in a long while, huh? I'm going to stop it here because most people don't last a full hour. And we've gone almost 50 minutes. Please forward this to your friends, people you care about, and tell them about the Healer Within Foundation. Dot org. There's a lot of different practitioners throughout the country offering this for free. Won't last long. So we all got to make a living somehow. But anyway, I'll leave you in peace. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Tune in next time. First Wednesday of every month, 730.